Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I am so excited to try a new product from Glossier. They have a new product called their Solar Paint. This is what kind of prompted a purchase for me recently. I did pick up some other things that I had been curious about for a while, but this right here, this really caught my attention. It is basically a slightly glowy liquid bronzer, and you know I love me cream and liquid products. It's all that I'm about right now, especially in the summertime. So I'm delighted to have this new Glossier product. I did happen to also pick up their Ultra Lip. I, of course, got a <laughs> surprise, the sheer red. <laughs> I am excited to try this. This is a newer launch for them. It's not brand new. And one of their hero products that I hear so many people talk about and I've been curious about and just have never purchased was their stretch concealer. I hope I have the right shade. I did also pick up a three pack and I already put them in my my skincare like stash <laughs> in my bathroom is their balm.com. I buy them in a three pack and I love them. I always get one mango and two coconut. The coconut ones have a coconut scent to them, but they're clear and the mango is slightly peach tinted, but when you put it on your lips, unless your lips are really, really, really not pigmented, you really can't tell. I'm gonna start with the stretch concealer. I have shade G11. It's the second to lightest shade. Part of me is wondering if I should use a color corrector. I almost always do that. Just to make sure we give it a fair chance, I am gonna reach for the color corrector from Glossy. This is the Super Luminous Genius Under Eye Corrector. I have the shade light medium. I'm not gonna use a ton. And I am gonna use the stretch concealer from Glossier, kind of like all over correction where I need it. I'm not gonna wear it like foundation, but I feel like they're tinted. Is it a moisturizer? Is it a, it's, it's just not enough coverage for me to be interesting. It is beyond super light. It's almost like non-existent, but their stretch concealer is something I see Katie Jane Hughes reaching for all the time. And if you're not familiar with Katie Jane Hughes, amazing makeup artist, I will link her Instagram below. Mwah. Love. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and kind of pick some up here and then just start dabbing it around. A little redness on the nose some hyperpigmentation from <laughs> acne, um, a little bit of melasma. I'll blend it in in a minute. I feel like the Glossier aesthetic is so beautiful. And it's the sort of makeup that when my girls are old enough to wear makeup, I have a 13 and 11 year old, and I told my oldest that she could wear makeup when she was 14 and had established a skincare routine where for at least six months, she <laughs> washed her face and she put on sunscreen daily. I mean, I don't need you to be wearing like all the skincare, but you need to wash your face every day and you need to wear sunscreen. That was like my, my minimum. And she's getting pretty close. And so I thought maybe for her 14th birthday, which comes in March, this is the sort of makeup I would love for her to wear just enough to make her feel, you know, like she's slightly perfected, but not where she feels like she has to hide under layers of makeup because there's nothing more beautiful than youth. I firmly believe that. I'm always trying to look like a better, more awake version of myself. And I know that at 46, I'm not gonna ever look like my young teenage daughter or my preteen, but I want my skin to look as healthy and happy as possible. You know what's funny is I have never used something this small other than under the eye, but this is really great for just like targeted spots. And then just kind of blending in without being too heavy. I feel like when I use a, a larger, more dense brush, I tend to either over apply or buff it so much that I lose some of that pigmentation. I'm just taking what's left over on my brush now and just kind of buffing over small areas to make sure that I have a pretty good blend. This might be easier with a sponge, my fingers or a larger brush, but I'm kind of really liking this smaller brush. I feel like it is giving me just enough coverage where I feel like I need it without being too much. I really like the way this looks. I like that it's like a more perfected version of me, but it still looks like skin. It's not so makeup-y that you would know instantly that I'm wearing some makeup. That's probably gonna change. I need a little powder at least underneath my eyes, corners of my nose and chin because, well, it's gonna be at more than 100 degrees here today and I don't want it all to melt off. Solar paint time. So this is the lightest shade. This one is called Flare. I'm just curious to see, ooh, I like that it comes in this kind of wand and tube so you can squeeze if you need to, but it's got kind of like a flat doe foot. This is what it looks like 
and blend. Ooh, ooh, blending. Like to nearly not. Oh, I'm gonna love this. <gasps> so excited. All right, let's get some on the face. I think it's really smart to have something like this because it gives you a lot of precision. I'm gonna be using a smaller brush for this. So as I'm looking at this, the one thing I am noticing that I did have more of these hyperpigmentation spots here covered up, but this product, because I didn't set it with powder, I only set my T-zone. I didn't want, you know, underneath my eyes. I didn't want to cover my cheeks. I didn't know how this was going to blend over a set face. I thought it would be easiest to blend it over a unset face where I just had this in places and it works really well that way. But what I am noticing, and I don't know whether it's the pressure that I'm using to tap things, maybe I'm pressing too hard with the brush or I'm swiping and it's picking up the concealer I put on underneath. So these spots here are a little bit more obvious than they were when I had them covered up with a stretch concealer. I feel like if I use a stretch concealer, powdered, and then use powder products, I would definitely continue to keep that coverage in this area but this definitely looks very skin like it's not heavy it's super blendable goes lickety split um, and this is what my skin looks like without it I'm gonna bronze the other side of my face and I'll be right back I did add just a little bit around the hairline and right under here I wanted a little bit of a sun-kissed look and to see if we can hide this right here I feel like it works really well blends super fast I'm gonna be using their cloud paint this is the shade beam I love this I don't reach for it oh that's too much as frequently as I should but it's a beautiful and it's not a liquid it's not really a cream it's a really beautiful product it feels almost too lightweight to be a cream but it's it's definitely not liquid enough I don't know it's it's amazing I thought that this color would also go good with the shade of solar paint that I have I've been a big fan of the boy brow for a long time so I'm gonna use this this one I should have picked up another one but I have a ton of brow products right now but I do like this one it's one that I've had constantly in my collection for probably when did they launch this five six years ago I've never not had it and it's what I reach for on days when I don't want to take the time to you know like pencil in and then use a brow tint just one thing this is this is enough and I always start by that combing I have been super curious about their new glossy lipstick. This is their Ultra Lip. The shade that I have is the shade called Fet, and it's basically a sheer watermelon red. I love a glossy lipstick, oh, so much, and I'm curious to see how this one wears. I'm gonna love these. <laughs> I can tell you with one swipe, I'm gonna love these. Oh, yes. I am super happy with the way this look turned out. This lipstick, I feel, is going to be going, first of all, straight into my purse for instant rotation. Just enough color, not too much. And it's a sort of lipstick, and I do this with so many sheerer colors. I could put it on my lips and then tap my fingers here and share it onto my cheeks for a little color on the days that I'm not wearing anything other than a lip product. Because there are days that I'm running errands and I don't have time for a full face, but I want a little bit of color and something like this would really bring me to life. So I love it for that. Another thing that I like about it is even though it is shiny, even though it is glossy, it's not so slippy that as you apply it, because there have been some products that I've, you know, oh, glossy lipstick. And the next thing I know, it's like outside my lip line because it just slides really fast. I feel like I have a degree of control with this. I like that a lot. And I think that this is really great because when you build it up, this is what it looks like. And this right here is one pass. So if you want a sheer, more lightweight whisper of color, you know, once over the top and once over the bottom lip or once over the top and then share it between the two, however you want to do it, you can definitely get a more subdued but still moisturized lip from this. I will, am probably always going to wear it like this because so much. The one thing I'm curious about is this lip product going to start because it is glowy, because it is glossy, because it is not a matte, is it going to start to trail outside of my lip line? That's what I'm hoping it doesn't do because right now, oh, super, super, super impressed. 
I love this concealer. I feel like this is the sort of concealer I want to reach for on days when I don't want a real heavy look and I want to use mostly cream products, you know, like no eye makeup except for mascara and brows. Like this is what I want. And the one thing I didn't show you, this is a trick I picked up watching Katie Jane Hughes is she uses this. She'll put on her cheek products and if her cheeks are a little too strong, she'll dab into here and just go over it. Or maybe just like if she got the blush too high, she'll just put a little bit of this here and dab it in and soften the edge. Or if she got bronzer too low, she'll use this to clean up. I feel like this is a really great flexible product if you haven't set your cheeks to be able to get everything right where you want it. I feel like this turned out a lot better than I expected it to <laughs> because I was going in with all the blush, all the solar paint bronzer. I was just like, the next thing I knew it was like too much or it was too harsh or it wasn't blended as much as I wanted and having the flexibility of adding a little bit of this on top since I hadn't set my cheeks, beautiful. I see the draw and the lure of Glossier. I've always loved their boy brows. I've always loved their balm.com. I really do like their milky jelly cleanser. There are some products that I just keep coming back to over and over and over again, but I definitely see how this might be one of them. I also have really high hopes for this product. I think this is gonna work beautifully for those really fast makeup days when I wanna look like myself, but in color. <laughs> and I feel like this would also be beautiful as a light blush bronzer if it's the only thing I'm wearing on my cheeks. I would love to know if you have a favorite Glossier product. Are you curious about their new solar paint bronzer? Do you have or are interested in their ultra lip? Is there something that you're a diehard fan of? Like for me, it's the boy brow. I love it so much. Let me know in the comments down below. I would also be curious to know if Glossier is a brand that doesn't interest you because it's just not enough pigment. Some people like the really light no makeup look and other people really want like all the pigmentation, all the color, all the options. Let me know what your makeup preference is in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I will see you again soon.